Okay, I'm just going to warm up some of these um, bits at the top here. Now I've come back to this, I can see they just need a bit of warming up with the orange. It's nice and sharp now too. So I'll just give them a sharpen up. all those off. Okay, now we're going to be doing these these bits here. We're going to be getting this colour in properly around the eyes and then we can um, do our eyes. I think when you're doing things a bit more detail, you do need that bit more of a point on the uh, pastel pencil. So it's better better for this kind of thing. Very gentle. There's a nice white line there. Just. To make it look like it's coming in naturally, it does soften the edge here of any misters. This is a bit more greeny to the side, so I'm just just putting some white in first. I'm looking at this line here of the eye here before I start. Make sure it's only right. You constantly think you've finished it, you think you've done this bit, but you need to check it all the time. And things do seem to move around a bit. Well, it's a bit like charcoal, so it's always on the move. It's a bit like modelling, really. blue in here that we put in, which is looking quite effective now, like a lime green colour. And then we've got 
like a little, that little brown mark there just below that. So I'm going to make sure we get that in, just this side of it. So I'm not going to fill that bit in, that's why I've left it. Just these tiny little bits are really effective and it just makes it look like real fur. That's more of the creamy colour. This, this mark here has got this, uh, that's the eye line. I think that looks quite good. Yeah, this looks quite good. And before we do under here, we'll check this. That's got to have some blue in. I want to just get this bit in underneath here though. So that when we put that mark in, when we put the eye line in, um, we'll be able to judge the how it's going to really look when we get the green in into our eyes. Slight dip on that line there. You've been very careful to leave that little black bit there. That's a little bit thinner than what I've got here, so I have to be careful. Much better light here today, so I can I've got much more of a, a feel for the colours today. It's much much better. I have tried artificial light, um, but I don't, you know if I just try daylight, if I can. Okay, now we're going to just make this a little bit more creamy here. See, you can see there's little tiny flecks when you look examine your picture, your best copy. You'll see there's tiny little flecks in there. Well, you don't need to put all those in because this paper, if you just skim over it, they're all there. Just leave them there. You know, rather than cover it all over and fill the the pastel up with the pastel paper up with pastel, you can just leave them and use them. This is whiter here. I'm going to leave that as more of a grey, grey colour. And actually, um, this is, this is coming out here a bit. But it, it's greyer. Okay. Now, if we just get a bit more grey this this uh, oaty beigey colour so I'm going to use for that 
beige colour. I'm going to use this um, 188. Um, although I've used 186, yeah, I've got to use that 186. That's, that's that I've just been using there. So we'll just put a bit of that in. Very light. bits that we put in yesterday. Just, you know, don't go over those. Just go around them. So yeah, we'll just put this bit in there. Because that's grey, we've got grey on there already. I'll just see how the grey goes on there, I think. And there's a lot of white over that, actually. And this is quite strong here. So I'm going to put that in. No, not quite over that. Nice and straight. just outside of the pupil and just slightly up and then come out here and I can see some other darker lines on there just put those in Almost straight, really. So, because it's almost straight, I'm just going to pop it in there. Just come it over like that. And when you get the other uh, colours over that, it'll just break it up a bit. Very light touch there because that's got other colours over it and it's kind of coming down that side like that. Yeah, the closer you look with in pictures, you think it's just a patch of colour, but it's not. Just rub that in a bit. before was I, I did it in this order white then that color we just put on there 186 and then 102 on top of that to get this kind of creamy beigey color that's got grey on it. Okay, that will do for now. I might change it. I'll 
inside your foot white in there and by putting white over grey now it will just look we're just going to put little flecks in there just tiny little flecks Just looking at the direction of the hairs, although they're tiny little flecks, there is a direction there, and that's quite lighter there. And this is quite light there. We'll just have to put some grey over that. Just dip that there. some lines over that black black line there and it'll break it up a bit okay let's start let's start his eyes now they are really black around there uh, but I've got quite a good point on my black this is my new black pencil so we're, we're gonna we're not gonna go over the white because that's part of his eye um, Probably why they may be looking a little bit smaller to you. So I'm just going to fill in this very careful line we've, we've left there. And make sure all the time that we're getting that right. So you can't see very much here at all. This is why the black and white pictures is, is needed really. So that you can get everything right. Very thick line here. I've left it, um, but it, it's it's going to be maybe even thinner than that. It's hardly discernible there. Just a bit more rounded. This is extremely thin here. So very light touch to get a really thin line. got a little bit thick but don't don't worry about that you can easily um, if you do get it a bit thick like I've just done you can easily get it back again just don't go mad on the black just keep it light very light touch for now to be sure that it's all going to be in the right place it's straight now So what we're going to do now is we're going to just alter this a little bit, slightly going up there. Yeah, it's a bit gingery on the edge here, so just leave it at that now.
studied it and see that there when you get your picture printed out and it's a good copy you'll see we've got two lines there we've got a little eyelid line which is what we're doing now but there's also another line that comes over the top here um, which makes it appear thick it's actually another it's other, another line so I'm going to put that in while I can see it's kind of coming up over like that. Yeah. This is a lot thicker, this side, than the other side. This is very thin here. And, yeah, it, that's, a lot of, that's not one line, that's two little bits there. So thin, we can we can break that up with the um, uh, the white. So I'll put this blue bit in here. Not totally blue. It's just. Streaks. Still bits of white in there. Then there's a blue here, right on this edge. It's just right on the edge of the black. I mean, it's kind of going into the this area here, the, the creamy. this on then I'm going to do it over in black darken up a bit See, I haven't covered it up entirely, I'm, I'm letting it show through a bit. And this has got a lovely line going in there. Streaks through there. Yeah. 
this this piece here is blue. Okay, so I'm just going to do this bit here, then we'll start the dye. Some black in there because that's light grey. Go over that with a white and just do that here as well. Get a bit of darkness in there because that's that's bluey white. Beautiful. So much better today for doing this. So much better. Looking at the direction of my hair again. I'll get some blue in there. leave the black uh, for beautiful for a bit. Um, just get some colour in I think first. Already I've got the nice white highlights in. Although this is very dark up here. We could actually rub a bit of that black into the top there. This is much lighter. about eyes is you can have quite a few goes at actually getting it right. 
especially in this place. putting so much heavy white on there because it's got to be darker right so we're just gonna really start with um we'll start with this yet the other area color i think like a mustard and just lighten that up a bit if we want so i'm literally just coloring in what i can see that's mustard over the white there I'm just going to go over the whole of the eye with a bit of very light mustard, um, just tone it up a bit. Quite light now. Around the corner there. That's going up. I've taken that up a bit more. The line isn't quite right. some nice green that fits uh, 168 this green so we'll just put this in first I think I kind of know where the um, pupil is because I've already kind of penciled it in there really but we can easily measure it and get it exactly right Again, it's really important to get the pupil in the right place. Now, there's a lot of um, colour in this this eye here. But you don't need to you know, fill the whole eye up because it's got lots of little flecks in it and if the paper shows through um, you've already you've got the flecks there so we'll just put this in a bit on the lighter side because it's a lot lighter isn't it Check my picture now. To see where I put the line around his eye. Well, there will have been on the outside of his pupil. Definitely, not. I wouldn't have put white on his pupil. I think that's probably the line where his pupil starts. I see a little white line. There's the white line going there. But that white line is actually going into his pupil a bit. I'll get this in as well now. There's the white. 
see that white line I put in there. There it is. I'll, I'll leave it white for now, but it's actually green. And this um, pupil is coming down quite low, quite low in the eye. So is that one actually? But they are different. They're diff because they're different. The eyes aren't level, so the pupils aren't going to be level. So yeah, at this point we'll we'll try and get the pupils in. Um, I'm doing black, straight black. Mm, it's coming to life now. His eyes are coming in. Really dark up there, so I'm going to take it right up there. Then we've got a white spot there, and the black is just on the outside of that. And these going up. They really aren't very wide, are they, the pupils? I'm just using that white spot as a guide to get the pupil in. Now you can see straight away it looks a bit thick, but we've got to get all this a lot darker in here. And we can slender it up with the, with the green anyway. 